afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Marine County Fire District 1, we welcome you, welcome you to the swearing-in ceremony for Fire Chief Terry Riley. I'd like to take a moment to welcome Oregon State Fire Marshal Jim Walker, DPSST Director Mark Ayers, as well as dignitaries and all the other guests from neighboring districts, departments, and the community. Our fire district has a rich history. Like most fire departments, it started on the backs of dedicated citizens that found a need to protect their families, friends, and businesses from fire. It all began as a single volunteer fire station for Corners Fire Department in 1939. That volunteer station merged with Brooks Grove Fire Protection District in 1968, creating Marion County Fire District 1. Since that time, it has grown to include stations at Four Corners, Middle Grove, Pat Pratt, McClay, Brooks, Clear Lake, and the Bush Center, and the Chemeco Fire Station. Today, we are gathered here to write yet another page in our district's rich history that has spanned over 75 years. I will honor and respect the mission and goals, purpose and policies of the fire district. Purpose and policies of the fire district. I pledge to promote and protect the best interests of Marion County Fire District Number One. I pledge to promote the best interests of Marion County Fire District Number One. Through fiscal responsibility, honesty, integrity, and reliability. Through fiscal responsibility, honesty, integrity, and reliability. I will never allow personal feelings nor danger to sell. I will. I never allow personal feelings nor danger to self to deter me from my responsibilities as fire chief. To deter me uh, from my responsibilities as a fire chief. I will at all times respect the property and rights of all men and women. I will at all times respect the rights and the property of all the men and women. The laws of my country. The laws of my country. The members I serve. The members I serve. I recognize the badge of my office. I recognize the badge of my office as a symbol of public faith and trust. As a symbol of public faith and trust. And I accept this so long as I am true to the ethics of the fire service. And I accept this as long as I'm true to the ethics of the Oregon Fire Service. And here's the final question. Do you, Chief Riley, take this as your fire district? I take this as my fire district. By a show of applause, would you let Chief Riley with you take him as your fire chief? By your presence here today, and my brothers and my sisters here at Marion County Fire District Number One, thank you so much. Um, I can't begin to. I'm just going to read this because if I don't, I'm not going to stay on track. I cannot begin to express my appreciation for the support that has been shown to me since our board of directors selected me to be the next fire chief of Marion County Fire District Number One. I am also humbled by the presence of everyone here today. For that, I say thank you for being here on such a special occasion for me, my family and for all of us here at Marion County Fire District Number 1. I knew at a very young age that, uh, in my, that I, my career would be in the, in the fire service. My dad was a firefighter when I was very young for a short period of time, but the bug bit me. <laughs> so I told many people in a lot of classes I've taught in the fire service that uh, at a very young age, I always knew I was going to grow up to be a fire truck. <laughs> I began volunteering in late 1989 with the Applegate Fire District and secured my first paid position in July of 1993 as a training officer down there. This is when I realized that training was an area that I wanted to focus my fire service career on because it was something I was passionate about. In June, June 2000, I took that step one more step further and I joined the, the crew at the Department of Public Safety Standards and Training, becoming a regional trainer, uh, working alongside numerous agencies uh, within Oregon across the state. In July 2008, I was uh, given the opportunity to come here at Marion County Fire District Number 1 and become the training officer, again doing something that I'm very passionate about. As I settled in and was embraced by the members of this fire district, um, I, I felt at home, I felt this is where I could spend the rest of my career. A few years goes by and, you know, Italian Chief might not be a bad spot to end my career at. So I pursued the uh, AIC-BC process, completing the task book and all the required work, and occasionally then being allowed to fill in as a battalion chief. Therefore going, yep, this is where, this is where I'm gonna end my career. In July, uh, July 2013, I became the assistant chief, and then before I knew it, here we are today. I proudly stand before you as your fire chief. 
I look forward to what the future has in store for us here at MCFP1, working alongside some of the finest people uh, that I've had the privilege to meet and to work with. Um, I'm looking forward to the positive difference that we're going to continue to make in this community. On behalf of me, my family, my personal family, and the Marion County Fire District number one family, thank you very much for being here today. I thank you for supporting us as we write this, as we were told, as we write this next chapter here at Marion County Fire District number one. Thank you for coming. Fire Department of New York Chief Edward Croker said, We strive to preserve from destruction the wealth of the world, but above all, our proudest endeavor is to save the lives of men, the work of God Himself. The citizens who started this district shared that same notion and have thrived here to this very day. With our new Chief at the helm, let us continue in this noble quest. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Chief Riley one more round of applause. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I want to thank you for attending the ceremony today. We invite you to share in some refreshments and take some time to meet our new fire chief. Thank you.